Hey, you guys. Now, I know I'm not the only one. They know they need to be out here pulling these plants. <laughs> Y'all not going to make me think I'm out here by myself. But I am. I got to let it go. Got to let it go. <laughs> I pulled some uh, eggplants off of here. You know, it just can't take the cold. So the poor eggplants is looking mighty puny. So they and this plant don't want to come up out of here. Y'all already know what I'm going through. It doesn't want to let go. So I'm going to have to use some super strength, find some super power. Then we have this plant over here that has all the peppers on it. Now, I squeezed these peppers the other day, and they was kind of mushy, but it looked like it's trying to come back, but I know the weather is going to be, uh, see these are, yeah, they got to go. Weather's up and down, and these poor plants can't take it. So, it's time to get rid of the plants, y'all. Come on, come with me, and harvest what you can if your peppers are mushy you can still sit them out and let them dry and I'll put them in a dehydrator and they'll be okay as long as they are not spoiled so you just get them these were like I said were mushy yesterday the most of the majority of them and they hardened back up today that's because of the weather but this up and down eventually they're going to just give up and our temps are in the mid 50s to the low the mid 40s to 50s at night so it's not being able to take care of uh, the hell of the night temperature and this one right here has sun scald on it somebody had that on their plant and they, on their pepper i think it was and i think they threw the thing away you just cut that off the whole, the rest of the pepper is good. You just cut that part off. Just where the sun got a hold to it. And it just scalded. it. Just like when you get sunburned. You don't cut your arm off. So you just cut that off. These are high opinions that I'm picking right now. And some banana peppers. I don't know if they're hot or not. But um, this is what I'm taking off. And I want to put see if I can put some shallots in here and uh, shallots from the spring that I really forgot I was growing and they've been trying to grow so this is the time really I should have done it for my area code for my zone should have done it in uh, I think it was September but the weather's so crazy this is about September anyway for the something sir how you guys doing today? This is Miss Gail, Georgia Peach Nut here. Welcome to the Georgia Peach Nut Garden, growing zone 8A. So, I got, got a whole bunch of stuff that came across my um, came across my email today. You know, I get that stuff. You guys probably get it too, some of you. And it's pretty frightening because there were a lot of warnings. There were recalls. There were um, alerts. One is um, about uh, Celsa. Look it up. Alert about Celsa. S E L T is S E L Z T E R. Celsa. The other one was about some soup. Uh, salmonella and listeria in soup. The other one was about uh, nasal spray. Uh, you guys need to get these alerts on your phone. That's why if when I see that, I come on out here. I come on out here because I don't know if the food's not being grown here it's been grown somewhere else and people don't care about their food like we care about ours they're not as cautious about stuff I don't know what that is but I know I'm 70 and I have never seen as many recalls in my life that's why you need to grow your own food I'm just saying I list it when I get a chance I'm not gonna list all of them I'm just gonna list what I saw give you the, the name of the recall and you can go and pull up all of what they say is wrong with it and why you need to um, 
going ahead. <clears throat> you don't want to let go. Going ahead and um, look that stuff up. Make sure you don't have some in your house. Yeah, you need to make sure. Hold on for a sec. Let me get some help. Uh, let me see. I may have some help. Let me see what I got here. In. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> it's in trouble now. A little hurry, hurry. Let's see if the hurry, hurry can. These things, they grow like, they grow like trees. They don't want to come loose. Hold on. I need something a little stronger. Yeah, it's the life of a gardener, but you know you want to eat, so can't complain. And even if you could, nobody, nobody would be a list. Now let's see if we can find something to clip these bad boys off. Hold on. going on here. Got to have all kinds of equipment when you come out here. Especially if you're a female. Hopefully these are cut. They stay outdoors so I don't know if they rusted out or not. Let's see if I can get it open wide enough. Ha ha! Another one bites the dust. Okay. Go down and see if I can find the root of this one right here. Did I get you? I gotta go over a little bit further. Okay. See, yeah, I get you. Get you some stuff. Go on over and cut. So, so you got one side. You have to go to the other side. Okay. This one was growing really good. So it's time to go now. Yes. Trying to find the root. here. Okay, let's see if I can find. See if that's it. <laughs> see, I didn't give up. Look at that. We're going to shake that dirt off because we want that soil. We want that soil. And we're going to toss this to the woods. Somebody get that for me. <laughs> we got this one over here. It's when you know your stuff is growing good. The roots go down in there and they don't want to come up. Let me find where I'm cutting. Find where you're cutting. Uh-oh. They didn't want to get cut. It's like I give up. <laughs> You're going to shake your soil off now. Soil is very expensive. So we're going to shake that off. Be nice if I could overwinter that, but I don't have a place to put it. But that's nice. Okay, one more over here. All right, this is dry as a bone. I've been watering it, but it lets you know you have to water every day. Every day. Yes. 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 So let's move this around. I'm move this around so I can see where I am cutting. And this is the bark right here. So you're gonna go in ahead and cut that. These are Fiskers. They've been outside for a long time and they haven't haven't uh, rusted on me. So you're gonna go with something that you can keep outside and not rust on you. I go with that. Okay, just cut a little piece off. Now, see, I just made work a lot better. See, okay. Good roots. All righty, be gone. 
So I'm gonna wipe this off so they can come back and cut some more stuff later on if I need them. Okay. So yeah, we have these roots down in here. That. Wrong woman. Tell you, you don't mess with a gardener's woman. A, a female gardener, you don't want to mess with us. <laughs> Y'all know I'm crazy, right? Okay. So all that is gone. So that was a lot of work for, for Miss Gail. So I'm going to go in here. This is very dry. Dry as a bone. But the soil is good. Look at here. So you know, I've got to loosen this up if I'm gonna put anything else in here. Loosen it up. Y'all know me. Good soil. We're gonna repurpose the soil. Repurpose and refurbish. And if I see any of those little round things, it's gonna be over for me because that means I have to pull all this out and uh, get them out. So we'll see. See the roots? So you can do bags, you can do grow bags, but sometimes it's a little work. I probably knew I was gonna come and take this bag and use it, and um, therefore did not um, water it that's probably what i did i think so i'm just doing this y'all know what i'm getting ready to do you already know for those of you who are new thank you all my new members my new subscribers not not members subscribers i do appreciate each and every one of you um for subscribing and all of my return returning subscribers thank you for coming back I think I'm about seven members or seven subscribers from 800. So you guys tell your family, your friends. Come on over here and see what Miss Gail is doing. I just go and have fun. I try to enlighten you on what I know. Any information I find out, I'll let you know about it. And uh, I'm just taking you along right now on this journey. Uh, then you see what I do. Take this stuff out. You want the roots out. It, they're not going to really bother anything as long as they're loose. But I think I've changed my mind about what I'm going to put in here. Which means that it's going to whatever I put in here is probably going to be collard greens or something like that. And it's going to go down pretty deep. So that means that um, you got to get ready. for our next thing. Y'all know what that is. This is gonna get all the roots up. Gonna get all the roots up. Make sure it's on here tight. That's what this does. And it loosens your soil, it fluffs it up. Makes light work. Now I may not get all the roots out, but it won't be all compact. Look at here. It's pulling all that up. Now, if you have any disabilities, you can sit down and do this. You don't have to stand. You want to get close to the edge, like that, and loosen that soil up around the edge. There you go. 
So every situation is not like this. If I were putting onions in here, I wouldn't really care. Because they're not going to go down this deep. The deepest they'll probably go is six inches. Collard greens, yeah. They're going to they're gonna go down pretty deep. So, okay, I think I've done a good job. Now, what I want to do, put this down. Grab this little bucket right here. I'm going to just take some of the soil off the top because the top part is really important and I want some fresh soil on top and this is on the bottom as you water, as you put in your amendments, your uh, fertilizer, it's going to go down to the bottom and the bottom will get all those nutrition. It'll get all that. So you don't have to worry about that. But in the meantime, in the top part, look at here. Hide it now. See? Look at that. Put that over there. Somebody get it from here. See, that'll stop. That'll stop your plant from growing. Yeah. We don't want that, so we're gonna go down a little bit deeper. See these roots? Yeah. Take those out. That's why you do what you do. I just toss it. You know, some people leave the roots in. My experience has been leave the roots in. It stunts the growth of whatever plant you're putting in there. You're putting the plant in there, it gets to that root, it can't compete. So I just take my hand and go through here. And uh, this way I can feel what's down in here that's being resistant. There's a lot of roots in here. And you want to take those out. Now, this is part one in case I have to come back and do a part two. And the night time is coming on me. So, not that I'm afraid of the dark. It's just that y'all won't be able to see me. Okay. Don't y'all forget what I said about those recalls. While you're looking, if you're still looking, please hit the like button. Comment. You know, we all share experiences. Look at that. See, if I had left that. You got to get the roots. You got to get them out. And I'm getting them out with my hand because I can fill them down here in the bag. So, got to get them out with my hand. I don't know why I'm doing that. Hold on for a second. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Tell everybody, wait a minute. Work real quick. Okay. I'm back. Y'all gotta give me a moment. Yeah, I know I move slow. Okay. I don't know why I'm going through them changes. This helps scoop. Try to supply. This thing going. Look at that. See? Now, 
That's a lot better. And I'm trying to throw some roots away as I do this. So, I think I've done good. Pat myself on the back. And just trying to get down to the bottom of the bag. So I know these collard greens is going to uh, go straight down. Should have done the broccoli. I will do that later. Let's see here. So I think I'm there. So what I'm going to do now is add some amendments. So they'll already be down in the bottom of the bag. So, don't give our three items that I like to give. I changed my mind at the last minute on some things. That's why I'm not together. But it's okay. We're going to get there. Right? I'm going to put my fan right because it's getting hot out here. It's getting hot out here. So, we don't need bone meal because it ain't that kind of party. We're going to do our vegetable, tomato, and herb. And I'm going to move this over. I'm blocking your view. And that bag is empty. So Miss Gail went and got another bag today. We're going to work quick. Need some daylight. And I didn't bring my ring out here. A little light. So I'm gonna put this in. So you just saw how to um, clear out your grow bag. If um, you're gonna reuse it, you have something like eggplants, and you have something like peppers growing in there. Yeah, you're gonna need to um, go down there and get the roots out. This is blood meal. Gonna mix that in. And so that I'm not going crazy with over with watering, we're going to water. Uh -oh. water we're gonna get that wet go on ahead and get that wet I just dry as a ball okay so we've done that this is sitting upside so I'm gonna put some up underneath it to set it up right okay now one in some more this helps so we are going to now put in this is miracle grow I don't get hung up on stuff now I do like my uh, fox farm, but I don't have a bag down here with me right now. We're gonna break the clumps up. Miracle Grow has a lot of clumps in it. We wanna break those up because that's just as bad as having roots that prevents your plant growing. So we wanna break the clumps up really good. Take a second and do that. And 
clumpy, clumpy. All broken up good. We'll do it kind of quickly. And then we're going to mix the bad soil in. Well, it ain't bad. <laughs> the old soil in with the new soil. And that way you get an even mix of, uh, mixture of of goody good. It's a goody good. And then we're going to put our plants in. So, let's see, we're about done with that. I want to make sure I get all the clumps. I don't want to have any problems with uh, anything growing up. I don't know what that was. Looked like it was moving. <laughs> okay, dear. All right, got that going on. So we are going to take this right here, put it in here. I'll throw that away. Like this. mix that in. This is mixing the old soil with the new soil. Repurposing your old soil by mixing it in with your new soil. That's all you're doing. And like I said, as the amendments fall to the bottom, they will get refurbished as well. So we need just a couple of more scoops of this. As a matter of fact, I think, pick this up. Yeah, I know these Home Depot things, they crack so quickly. <laughs> so let's see here. We're gonna come up from the bottom, throw away any roots that you see coming up and mix it in. Don't just mix it in like that. And you can do this in a wheelbarrow. Take everything and put it in a wheelbarrow and mix it up and take it out. And that will be good. That'll be perfect. Okay. So, because these are collards, I am not going to fill it up to the top because as they grow, I'm gonna need to add more soil to help stabilize them. So we at the point now where we're gonna put some more goody good in here, like this. And we're going to put some more blood meal in here, like this. And you know as I put the plants in, I'm going to individually uh, add that too. So okay, that's good. Now we're gonna go up planting. I just decided I wanted to do some more collars. I'll do the uh, shallots later, like tomorrow. So we're gonna dig a hole. Y'all know me, fire in the hole. Meal. Mix it up. These are Mars headings. And what I'm going to do is take them all out. Yes, they came from the bit box store. <laughs> Yep, they showed it. I have a mixture of what I have done inside, and so I'm going to get pasta. So, we're going to take this one, which is kind of puny looking, stick it all the way down because it is puny looking. 
And I'm gonna put it all the way down. Way down. Take off this leaf right here. And because it's puny, I put it all the way down to the neck so it'll stand up. Yes. I'm gonna do this one right here. We're gonna do the fire in the hole. That was a uh, tomato, vegetable, and herb. Gonna mix it up. Gonna put this down to pretty low. Yep. See, we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna do the same thing. I haven't seen any of those little wormy, wormy things, so thank you, Jesus. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. I sure didn't feel like going through that again. And it was nasty. It was just nasty. Good part of my soul. Just nasty. Gonna put this down here. Up to the neck. And put that there. We're gonna do one in the center. So I just want you guys to know, you saw me take the plan out of this container. I had to use some tools to get it out, but I got it out, most important thing. So, if I can do it at my age, hello. <laughs> what y'all think, you young people? Talking to y'all. Come on. I am putting six in here. That's my normal amount to do. And I know people, oh no, yeah, mm -hmm. six going in here. I've done six before and they came up just fine. Even my honey be like, you're overcrowding me. Whatever. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. Okay, bone meal in the hole, only about a teaspoon. Well, about a half, two teaspoons. I say a teaspoon. If you have a hand, go with a teaspoon. Fire in the hole, we're going all the way down. Coming up to the neck. And one more. And we have done good. Move this over. The walls of your um, container, when you have these containers, fabric containers, you want to 